main reason I'm here is to enjoy it. And then after that, I just get into my fight game. Start remembering that if I don't take this serious, that um, I can get hurt. Cornered me in the, in the, in the, against the fence, which I had a feeling I knew he was gonna do that. So I, I thought I threw twice as many knees as then he did. Effective ones too. I felt him hitting his thigh. I felt his thighs cramping every time I hit him. And he was beginning to lay off me. I threw a loose change with him. I played him in. He came in. I shot my double, but he was able to counter perfect. Put his weight on me, put me up against the fence. But he had nothing when I was in the corner. He had no punches, he had no knees, he wasn't in a position to knee me, he wasn't in a position to punch me. So I just sat there and I said, okay, I'll wait for the stall. But they didn't give us the stall. You know? And that's where it ended, with me and him on the ground. And then we came back against stand up in the last round. And, um,. And uh, I thought I outpunched him again, but I guess I just didn't. I guess the judges said I didn't outpunch him. But it's okay, I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I came, I had a good time, I made a little money, and um, like I said, I get a train at the Shark Tank. You know, it's great, I love it. I'd come back again if they offered me another chance. You know, I'll fight another 300 pound guy. You know, win, lose, or draw. I make no excuses for me, went out there and fought hard. It was good because, it was good for us because now I get to see what we need to work on with them. Because the guy can do almost anything. I'm, am I disappointed? No way. Like any teammate, the Shark Tank is a team that I'm proud to be a part of. I'm just, if anything, I'm disappointed that I let him down and, you know, that I didn't win. Because I know they wanted me to win. I know they thought it was going to be an easy win for me. And I sure as hell thought so too. <laughs> shit. Shit happens. There are a lot of times when guys talk a lot of shit before the fights and we don't get along and we don't like each other at all. This guy, really cool guy. We've gotten along all, all day today, you know, he's a super nice guy. So, but I mean, it's still a job and to go in and fight him just like I don't like him, but when it's over, I still like him. He knows it's his job and he, I know it's my job and 
I got a kid to feed, they got kids to feed, you know. We're going to go out there and do our job and see who comes out on top. KOTC middleweight championship. Chris Brennan. Joe's got him. Joe's got him in a nice key tune here. Yeah, he does. Oh, he's got his both arms inside. But Chris Brennan doing a perfect defense. Chris Brennan's got his right arm all the way over Joe Hurley's back. These gloves will do a little more damage, you know. I've looked down there better than a there boxing glove from that position. Oh, that was nice. Joe stood up. He's up. Good technique. Oh, he's going to go back down. Maybe not. He didn't do too bad when he was down. Yeah, he got up. It's hard to get up when you're when you have someone on top of you against the fence. It's nice, kind of reminiscent of Frank Shamrock. Frank does that a lot. Oh, he got a leg swept. You know, he'd be injury. Oh. Chris uh -oh, Brennan going uh -oh. for a heel hook. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I knew it was a matter of time before Chris yeah. tried something. I knew it. Let's see how yeah. tight it is. I, I, well, you know what? This is a lion's den fighter. He's trained to go with something like that. Yeah. Bending his leg, twisting and twisting, and now he's on top. Yep. So how about top, that? Man. How about that? But I'll tell you what, Don. Chris that Brennan. was a close call, wasn't it? Yeah, Chris Brennan really comfortable on his back. He finished Joe. Oh, he just took a short right. elbow. Oh, another elbow, oh. another elbow. He's knocked He's out. out. He's, He's out. out. It's He's over. Out. That short elbow took him out. Joe Hurley, the new KOTC middleweight World champion. champion. Let me tell you something. That guy was on the verge of tapping out himself. Wow. Turned around, threw wow. those short elbows, caught him on the side, knocked him out. Joe Hurley knocked has him arrived. Out. Chris is okay. What a finish. He's up and around. Oh my God. Well, he was out there. He was out for about five seconds. Totally stunned. Jason, check to see if find our cargo pump. I brought each one of them one. A year ago or something, I may have not seen myself fight anymore. Immediately after the fight of Tito Ortiz, I was upset with myself. Go up to Northern California, rest and relax. And I just realized how tired I was. I much stayed laying down for three, four months. Starting training again slowly. Ran into a couple of injuries here and there, so it slowed me down. But but then I uh, started training more and more and worked out a deal with these guys at the King of the Cage.